Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So we're on Alpha 7 of Cosmic DE, desktop environment, okay? Uh, after doing a bit of testing, I'm just going to give you straight out my opinion on the desktop environment and its current state. It's still not ready for beta. They have a lot of issues that they need to fix, that they need to go over, that have been reported, and uh, they're not willing to do so. So uh, there's not much I can really say. Let's see here. Well, I changed some settings, so I'm going to see if this actually does boot up, because this is the uh, one of the issues that still I had. Uh, uh, yeah, you see this? You can hear the game in the background, right? Even when I decide to um, go into Windows mode, nothing. So that's one thing. Uh, another thing is, right here, this is Days Gone Remastered, and the mouse does not capture fully to the game screen, so it's kind of out of sorts, which is a problem for me, because you can't play the game, you can't fully turn your head. Now, I don't know if I could uh, recreate it here, but that was actually a problem I had. I had to use my controller. It was really annoying. So, the, 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 um, the mouse just too easily escapes it just too easily escapes everything and that's an issue so yeah we're gonna see if i can make that a thing by the way this game looks absolutely stunning in its remastered form like uh it's it's night and day the way that it looks like there's actual atmospheric color to places now instead of them just being bland so that's a thing and you don't need mods either Load game, job, load. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff in this alpha, alpha 7. And um, a lot of just standardized stuff that you'd find in normal desktop environments. But I'm going to go over as much as I can. I just want to show you the gaming stuff real quick. Uh, it's one of those things, right? Come on. You loaded quicker than this earlier. Okay, so try out over here. Oh, it's not doing it now. Son of a well, look at the look at the look how pretty this looks. Look at this. Look, skin tones are correct. Everything looks good. The dirt looks like dirt. The grass looks like grass. There's a, a greenish hue in this area because there's a ton of green stuff going on. It looks great. And for some reason, there's a bug for you. See that? can't do shift tab are we in hdr mode is that why that i'm not able to do that no that's off okay anyway let's hop out real quick it's annoying uh let's go over the new stuff shall we so starting off workspaces can now be moved by clicking and dragging to reorder so workspaces if i had another one uh we'd be able to that. Can we just place this over here to make a workspace happen? No, so. Oh, yeah. I can't freaking show you it. Because. Okay. Let me try to do this a little bit better. Uh, I would probably need to keep you over here. There you go. So look. Drag, drop. It can now be moved. Okay. That's as simple as ever. And the best part is you can pin them. So you have the ability to modify this the way that you want. Uh, you can, of course, modify this to have your workspaces here as well. And uh, that's kind of cool. So there's a lot of new stuff in accessibility features, which I'm currently going to look at now. So accessibility. High contrast mode is now here. So as you can see, it's right here. It actually makes everything look a lot more defined. It, I like it. It looks good. There's also color filters. So, you know, you can do that. And that. And that. Pretty interesting. Uh, color inversion. Where's that? Inverted colors. Oh, good golly. Don't ever do that again. So, yeah. And there's also mono sound. For those people out there that need mono sound, I guess. I don't. 
I've never actually heard of the reason why people need mono sound. Someone explain it to me in the comments, okay? Uh, there's improvements to the magnifier. The overlay can now be disabled. Super plus scroll can now be disabled. Fix a bug where super plus scroll could crash cosmic comp on some GPUs. Improve movement when viewing moves, when view moves and pointer reaches edge is chosen. So that's pretty cool. There's now tool tips. Yeah. Uh, hovering over an item and app tray workspaces app library and launchers now shows a tooltip makes it easier for users to identify apps and features that's great uh, global shortcuts or applications now allows you to do application specific shortcuts even if that app is not in focus especially useful for push to talk and push to mute so if you're one of those discord people that is still stuck on x11 congratulations you can graduate to wayland and uh, do some big boy stuff so this is in application and right here see that uh yeah this is also a new thing and we're gonna actually change that to display one um preferred games for first preferred display for games in x11 applications that's my main screen and so how do you how do you use this so no keys and modifiers control shift alt all keys stop guessing you you can choose all keys even mouse events so if i was to probably i don't know go into settings of obs set some hot keys to stop recording start recording pause recording and on pause recording would that work no they don't work What about this? Nope, they still don't work. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe it's, uh, they need to add it so it's program specific instead of just guessing, right? Yeah, maybe I need to restart OBS, but I don't want to have to do that. All right, so the next thing that we've got going on is scaling optimization. So now scaling optimize for uh gaming and full screen apps and optimize for applications games and full screen x11 apps may not match your display resolution yada 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 maximize compatibility uh if you're doing any type of scaling or whatever so once again let's try that with that island too and see what happens because having to use game scope that's a band-aid i don't like game scope at all i was never a fan of it but we're gonna give it a shot Yeah, see? No, it doesn't want to work. So if we hit stop and get rid of it, and we hit play again, let's try to do it in windowed mode and see if maybe we can get something going. Who knows? Because Guild Wars 2 is still pretty important to me. Yeah, no. It just doesn't want to work. All right, so the new settings for Exo Wayland Fractional Scaling gives Cosmic a better approach for handling fla fractional scaling with X11 applications optimized for applications. Also allows apps that don't support applications to appear crisp and clear on screen. Meanwhile, optimized for full screen slash gaming allows the application to match your screen's resolution through their scaling may look different alongside uh, apps that support fractional scaling. These options can now be found in display settings under x11 system application display settings oh yeah you can do scaling and display settings but these actual uh changes here are done in application itself just so you don't get confused interesting uh cosmic files a seek ahead search option has been added to the file browser typing the first letter of, of a file or folder Encourage page fills. Okay, so if we go in here and uh, let's say we searched. What are we looking for? OBS. That's pretty nifty. I like that. So I'm glad they got that works. There's also new changes in sound settings. Okay. The one thing I don't like is that this the, right here, this covers your exitability. So that's not a thing. I don't. I, so left and right balance can be added to sound settings, controlling the weight of the ear of the sound. So here we are. I would put it right there because of my current hearing issues. And the input device would be this. And there we go. Profile 
so profiles are there now that looks good and there's a ton of bug fixes so shape run cache add it to cosmic comp for significant reduction in cpu usage fix the loop causing high cpu usage when pulse audio is not installed pulse audio should not be installed anyway uh progress bar now functions performing multiple operations there's just a ton of stuff so that's it for a nutshell in a nutshell uh you can check the bug fixes and other stuff in the description below i'll leave it linked there i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time it's not ready for beta